stupid bikes here. I have to fix one of my chain stays sawn densener with an inner tube here. I got a road inner tube here. I'm slicing down the middle and I have a chain protector one. It's cracking because I guess the weather beats these inner tubes up if they're exposed after so long being on a chain stay and time to redo it. All I'm doing is cutting this down the middle on one of them little lines right there. I try to get as close as I can. And I might take this little rib off right here because it's I don't want it to be super thick. So I'm going to be taking this off right here. This line right here so it's about that thick or maybe yeah, I'm going to cut this off right there. I got that little piece cut. Now it's nice and thin the way I want it. With this extra piece. Now this could be scrap. You tie it in a knot. You can make a rubber band. Or if you got a GoPro mount such as can't even keep it in my hand like this. You can make one of them rubber rings so it don't spin. Just like this right here. This is an inner tube and now it's a rubber band. Inner tube, cutters, zip ties. I got what I need. This is the bike right here. It's cracking right here. So we're just going to snip it, make sure you don't cut no cables. So what I like to do is get that piece and just chop it off that way because I'm right by the brake cable. And I just think I just snapped the brake cable one. But I'll replace that. Now you get the happiness of unscrewing all this. Yeah, see I just cut the brake cable one. That's alright, I got zip ties. And then when you unwrap this sucker, you gotta go through all this cable. All this. So see how my cable is right here? I'm gonna have to re... Or you put some zip ties there. Sometimes you make a stupid cut, you know. Well, we got zip ties. I can't find the little ones I had. Some might say, why didn't I put these zip ties on after I did the, after I did that. See these zip ties, sometimes you gotta, I don't like how they scratch out. I'll be back with the smaller ones. Dang, I forgot my dollar store Betty Crocker scissors. So now I got my little zip ties. I got these at the dollar store too. I bought three packs and stuck them in this here. They come in handy. I usually use them for my RC stuff. My RC crawler stuff. I haven't been doing any of that in a while either been slacking on that now let's get that cinched up in there a 
And see that that won't bog around like that big one did. I know you people probably seen this video done so many times, but this is my video. Snippy off and voila. Now I, I like to start right here. Look how clean my chain stay is. See, and I pull this like that. I get it underneath there, pull it real tight. Now I only need one zip tie to hold it. Now mind you, it's good to measure the rubber before you put this on. And see, you're always going to get like this. So, I always try to keep it like that. Now this one, I will put a big one on. And see, I'm, I'm going to go, if I go like this, then I'll have to pull down. So, that's why I go this way. So I could, uh, pull it the way I want once I get that cinched up in there see now I'm going to pull and pull that tight now I got to put another one because it boggles that ain't even the one I always put two because there's a little ripple behind here. I don't like the ripples. Try to stop that from rippling. And now we got no ripple. And I got a nice chain stay again. There you have it. That's how I did my chain stay. Now it's fresh. Thanks for watching. When you're done doing your bike stuff, clean up your mess. That way you don't have a mess to come back to when you have to redo it.